Aloha. Thank you for coming to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul. And today is the last day of the month of November in 2016. And it is a Wednesday. Today is day three of a five day series where I am focusing on assisting all those that are watching with reversing negativity. Negativity comes to us in many ways. And earlier this week, I taught and offered healing blessings and guidance for releasing it. And it, was, and it comes to us uh, in one of the forms is a lack of self-worth. And, uh, and then yesterday, we focused on releasing negative self-talk. You know, uh, sometimes people confuse negativity with negative self-talk. Negativity is, oh, that'll never work. Oh, this, oh, that. That's not a good thing. You know, I don't know why they do that. That's negativity. That's judgment. That's criticism. Negative self-talk, on the other hand, is, I'll never be good enough. I don't even know why I try this kinds of things. So that's what we focused on yesterday. <clears throat> Today, the focus will be on building and boosting confidence. And we're going to learn about where some of the mental emotional um, aspects of this literally lodge in our body, where we get these lacks from and what we can do to reverse some of them. We're going to apply a lot of the tools learned from Dr. and Master Shah because I am a student and a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. And as a divine channel and worldwide representative, I'm dedicated to share with you the wisdom and teachings of this benevolent soul. And he brings a message of love and peace and harmony. He brings a message that carries some of the Eastern philosophies such as the, the five element theories which include, for example, earth, metal, fire, wind, water. Or excuse me, not wind earth, uh, metal, fire, um, water, and uh, wood. And those have associations to our mental and emotional bodies. <clears throat> they have associations to our physical well-being as well. So there's actually a great deal of wisdom that we can gather when we learn from a being who has reached enlightenment. So it's my great honor to be here today and to share with you some of these wisdoms and teachings. I hope you have enjoyed the last couple of days of the blessings that have come. Uh, yesterday I did a, a healing demonstration with a crown chakra blessing and that was for the condition of releasing um, negativity uh, and negative self self uh, thought. I received a comment this morning from the beautiful soul that received that blessing and uh, as a young, young, young soul, you know, she's a uh, probably I'm guessing 20, 21, 22. <clears throat> and she said, you know, I'm very um, excited today. There's something I've been wanting to do with my life for a long time to help me move forward on my educational path. And I'm ready to make that move. And so this is an example of a very powerful effect of some of the divine services. So we'll talk quite a bit more about that a little bit later on. There's some very special things that I'll be sharing. But this is about self-healing and self-empowerment. And so I picked a couple of things from Master Shaw's book. Um, I'm going to be blessing everybody that uh, sticks around. We're going to receive a uh, transmission from one of Master Shaw's books. You may have already received it. We'll get a boost. And if you haven't, you'll receive it today. And we'll use that and some other techniques, as well as I'll be using one of my healing transmissions to, uh, to offer a blessing to everybody. So I'm going to acknowledge who has shown up so far. And so welcome Tawana, welcome Kristen Rojas, welcome Anne-Marie from Australia, <clears throat> welcome Teresa, uh, Shari, good to see you Shari, and uh, Patrice coming in from Florida, welcome Magdalene from Florida as well, welcome Nina, Nina Midway, I think uh, first time I've seen you in here Nina, and then Carol, uh, Sharon Lackey, good to see you Sharon, Shauna, good to see you again. And Christopher, thank you for joining us, Christopher. Love all the different color hearts. Eleanor, good to see you, Eleanor. And keep, keep, it, keep me posted, Eleanor, how things are going for you if you're moving forward with more mobility in and out of the house with some of the blessings you've received. Okay. So, <clears throat> the subject today is boosting and building confidence. So, Part of it is understanding how we end up with a lack of confidence. Part of it is understanding how we have, have 
um, received the information from outside of us. Some of it is, of course, karmic in that uh, it, it, we have created that karma amongst others, creating a lack of, lack of confidence with them. And then some of it is actually related to an imbalances in our emotional body. The emotional body is related to the five elements. And so I'm going to touch on each of those today. All right. But we want to start by first, uh, I'm going to ask each of you to hit the share button. And we're going to connect heart to heart and soul to soul by placing our hands in what's called the soul light, soul service hand position, which is a hand mudra position. It allows for more of heaven's uh, frequency, more of heaven's um, uh, energy to come through our body more readily. We place our hands like this, we drop our left hand in front of the heart center, and then our right hand from the heavenly realms. Close your eyes. If it's comfortable, pull your back away from the back of the chair. <clears throat> Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth and let us connect. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, they're all layers of all committees up to original creator and beyond. We love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I ask for you to please come at this time to sit in everybody's heart center that joins this live stream, uh, whether it's now or in a recorded. Please bless each of us to receive the highest and best guidance, wisdom, and insights that we can today to help us to boost our self-confidence. Please guide me in the teachings, wisdoms, and the blessings today so that everyone gets the most they possibly can from the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah. Dear the soul of our individual heaven teams, guides, angels, and saints, dear the souls of all beings alike serving the plan of the light side, including lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, ascended masters, uh, bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, all angels, healing angels, archangels, and being of light, including the soul of all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes serving the light side. We love you, honor you, respect you, and again, I bow down to you. We are deeply honored for your continued presence in our life, for your ability to assist us unconditionally, for your protections and helping us to stay alive when we are unaware of it. We are grateful for uh, guiding these souls to this live stream today, and we thank you for borrowing my mouth and assist me to speak your truths. To the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, respect you. We invite you to turn on. We invite all souls in all universes to join with us in chanting love, peace, and harmony as we serve all souls unconditionally. Let us chant. For those that are new, keep your eyes closed. Receive the blessings. Everybody else, please join in. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin her ling, wo ai tren ren li, wang li hing rong her mu shi shang, song ai ping on a she, song ai ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more time. Lula, lula, li. <coughs> lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin her ling, 
Oai tran ran le, wang li hing rong her mu shi sheng, song ai ping an he xie, song ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so we've had a few more people join us. Welcome CJ, welcome Chelsea, welcome um, Sanjita, welcome Armani, welcome Pamela and Yvonne, welcome Sir MacArthur, welcome Elizabeth, and welcome Carol. Thank you all very much for coming here today. So as was discussed, today's topic is on boosting and building confidence. So some baseline understanding, and then I will do a flow <clears throat> from the divine asking, uh, what is the root cause of why we do not have confidence and what we can do about it? So some baseline teachings are that it is rooted in fear. Um, and fear has an association to the water element. In traditional Chinese medicine, they refer to five elements. There is wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. And each one has an association to an organ. Each one has an association to a part of the body, uh, like a tissue. Each one has an association to an emotion. And uh, the emotion of fear is what is directly associated with, <coughs> um, with um, the liver, excuse me, the, the kidney. The emotion of worry is also what is uh, similar and it is associated with um, the spleen which is the earth element the emotion of anxiety is associated with the fire element and so you can see these three anxiety worry and fear there are some in some many cases the opposites of confidence and so people tend to have these uh, imbalanced emotions and what it means is <clears throat> that those particular elements and those organs are being impacted negatively. And so part of the uh, wisdom and teachings is that we are not an individual organ, we're not an individual body part, we are a collective. We, are a, a, we have an emotional body and that emotional body <clears throat> is impacted by many different things. It can, it can be impacted by stress which was the subject of a week-long series a week or two ago it can be impacted by finances which are stress related which brings us a lack of confidence in doing our job so many different ways that it can come at us but in terms of how it sticks to us from the from the traditional chinese perspective it sticks to us in the form of imbalances in these five elements so we're going to do some practices with that today to help bring about balance in some of these five elements. <clears throat> now another common sense variable is um, karma. And so karma states that that which we are not enjoying is what we have caused upon others in other times. Very simple uh, understanding. And so if we lack confidence, if we lack the willpower, the strength to, to do that thing that we know is going to assist us the most and the best, then in almost every case, there are some associations to karmic implications, meaning we have uh, spoken to others in, a di in other times or created conditions upon others in other times that, that pushed them down, kept them in a place of non-confidence. And so now we are experiencing that. And so that's another aspect of where some confidence imbalances come from, all right? <clears throat> now the fire element, has a direct association to the heart center and the heart itself. The earth element has a direct association to groundedness, 
Okay, and when one is grounded, one can be confident, and the earth element has an association to the emotion of worry. And the water element, which is the ability to be fluid, the ability to be smooth and move with the times, the ability to have, be very humble. Water is the lowest. Water settles in the lowest places. It is exceedingly humble. And, and so the water element, when it's out of balance, we have fear. Fear of falling from high places is an example where in water itself is at the lowest places. So when we have these elements in balance, then the emotions also tend to balance out. <clears throat> so that's a basic understanding of some of the things that are in the background causing these lack of confidences in our life. Now what we can do about it is we can apply some of the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah. He teaches us that soul is the boss, that every one and everything has a soul. So you're, you have a, a body soul, you have an emotional body soul, you have a mental body soul, you have a physical body soul. The earth, uh, earth, fire, metal, water elements, the wood elements of our body have souls and they are imbalanced. The organs have souls and they are out of balance in some cases. These emotions have souls and they can be out of balance. Uh, Every, another one sentence secret that soul wisdom teaches is that uh, every soul is here to service. And so when we look at the condition of a lack of confidence, there's a message there and it's trying to service. So we want to take a look at that today as well. <clears throat> so soul, uh, soul wisdom, soul healing and soul teaching is based on this basic understanding that everything has a soul and every soul is trying to service. And that if we can heal that soul, uh, uh, then the mind and body will follow. So there is a soul of confidence or a soul of a lack of confidence in this case. That can be healed. We can bring healing to it at the level of soul using soul power. Today I'm going to transmit to you a, uh, a uh, golden light being called uh, the Tao, uh, Tao Light Ball and Tao Liquid Springs of Tao Light. For those of you that have not received it, you will receive it today. Uh, assuming you're, you're willing to receive it, and those that have will receive a boost, and we'll use that along with the other elements to bring about balance. <coughs> For those that are interested in um, expediting along the process, they want confidence, they want to have this lack of negativity in their life, or this negativity in their life removed quickly, they don't want to deal with any of it, then you want to pay attention to the special package I'll talk about a little bit later. It's a very, very special package that will assist you tremendously to transform things really fast, overnight fast. <coughs> Excuse me, a little more water. So now I'm going to do a flow and I'm going to ask um, one of the souls from the heavenly realms to offer a message on the nature of confidence and the lack thereof. So everybody, please close your eyes. <clears throat> Receive this message from your heart center. Dear Divine Tao Source, uh, dear any of the holy beings that have been called forth, to the soul of confidence, the soul of the lack of confidence, the soul of the highest and best wisdom and teachings that can be offered on the nature of why many of us have a lack of confidence, what we can do about it, and what are some of the wisdom, guidance, and insights that have been mentioned and then that have not been mentioned, new insights. Please borrow my mouth, allow me to serve all these souls, and enlighten all of us. Thank you. Hey ya, hey ya, hey yo. How? This is the soul of confidence. I am a very proud soul. I reflect what many people wish to have. I am what many people have. What leads me to become into fruition? is actually different than what most might think. When I come to somebody at the level that you know is possible because each of you that are watching has had at least one subject in your life where you have held a high level of confidence. 
you have held a high level of my soul. If you look carefully at that particular thing that you are confident in, there is a reason for it. And if we go backwards from there, you can understand how to have confidence in your life. For example, those that are very good at riding horses. They are very different than those that fear them, that won't even go near one or consider very gingerly touching their forehead. There is a substantial difference in going from someone who is fearful of or unsure of horses and being around them, and one who readily gets on a horse and with great control and confidence rides away. What caused one to move from a place of insecurity to a place of confidence is skill. Confidence has a direct relationship to skill, to education, and to practice. I understand that sounds a bit simplistic, <clears throat> but it is also very relevant. So with this as the truth, let us go a bit deeper. We know that we must, for example, have a skill set to get to the point of efficiency and success in operating whatever it is we are trying to accomplish. But if we do not do that, set of skills to get there, this lies the blockage area. Herein lies what is the truth in the matter. So my encouragement to each of you, when you look at where in your life are you not confident, you can look at what do I need to do to reach that confidence level? How do I need to educate myself? prepare myself, how do I need to do whatever it is that will create a high level of confidence with that choice. And when you figure that part out, then you look at why you have not done it so far. And that is the beginning of your understanding. This is where the karma lies. This is where the imbalanced emotion lies. You may identify a fear of moving forward for some reason. You may identify a worry about what others might think, which is rooted in both worry and ego. You may have an experience in which you realize that what is actually keeping you was something that was said to you as a young child when you were four years old. There are very often surprising roots as to why someone does not move forward to the steps that would assist them to achieve confidence and self-confidence. This subject was chose by this being speaking on my behalf as an aspect of how to reverse negativity. You can see by these examples that the karmic implications, the negative statements made to somebody by, a, by an adult to a child can create a negative, consistent, repeating structure in which there is not forward movement. That someone vacillates in like a whirlpool going around in a circle. I leave you with this so that you have a launching point with which to identify the problem area. The tools and answers will come next. This is the soul of confidence. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the soul of confidence for that uh, insight. Okay, so thank you everybody for coming in. I see some new faces jumping in. Welcome, Kristen. Welcome, Phil Seidler. Welcome, uh, Crystal. Welcome, Loveness. And Chelsea Fitzsimmons. Welcome, Ali. And Kim Waller. I see you've jumped in. Welcome. Welcome, uh, Esther, as well. So thank you all for coming. That flow was actually very, um, very interesting because 
I was talking to somebody the other day and um, they were asking about <clears throat> um, you know what is the difference between somebody who channels and somebody who does divine flow and I hadn't really been asked that question before so I had to stop and think about it and I said you know probably the main difference is somebody that does channeling um, they only work with spirits you know um, a spirit that is unknown a spirit that might have the name Adam or Jeb or something like that I says but flow is working with everything that has a soul every thought has a soul every perspective has a soul and in this case the soul of confidence came forth and gave a wisdom um, and the way uh, he broke it down to be able to isolate the source was very good so I'm grateful for that <clears throat> so what do we do about this next the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna receive a very powerful blessing uh, Dr. and Master Shah, if many of you know, is, is a world-renowned healer, and he has the ability and the authority to transmit healing ability and healing powers and or healing tools to objects, to people, to things. And so I, as a divine channel, worldwide representative, uh, did not start out as a divine channel or worldwide representative. I just started out as, as a regular Joe on the, on the spiritual path <clears throat> and received a few healing abilities along the way witnessed uh, quite a few healing um, uh, miracles, if you will, and went along the process of learning, becoming confident. I appear confident to you when I'm in a live stream. That's because I did the necessary steps to become uh, skilled in my communication. But it took a while to get there. And so this master, since the age of four, has been training to be a servant to humanity. He has learned, he has received the authorities to put a power into objects, books and things. And so all of his books, he puts transmissions. If you've been here the last few days, you've received this transmission. If you have not, then you will receive it now if you wish to. So I'm going to offer this. It's called uh, the Tao Light Bulb and Tao Liquid Springs of Tao Light. Now Tao Light is extremely high. It is, it is, it is, Tao is, Tao is everything. So it's the frequency that is much higher than a human's frequency. Earth's frequency is higher than a human's frequency. <clears throat> Heaven's frequency is higher than Earth's frequency. <clears throat> and source frequency is higher than all that. So a source frequency, which is what is this Tao light ball, is what we're going to receive. So the first thing is to tell Heaven, I'm not interested in receiving this, or yes, I'm very grateful to receive this. If you're not interested, then it will just not happen for you at this time. So prepare to receive. Sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. <clears throat> if you're accustomed to feeling energy, then pay attention by relaxing, relaxing your lower abdomen. Bring your thoughts into your lower abdomen. Touching your tongue to the roof of your mouth. If anybody has third eye, they can report what they might see. <clears throat> Give me a moment. Prepare. Dao order. Dao golden light ball and golden liquid springs of Dao light soul mind body transplants to all those watching now, all those that will watch in the future as appropriate for whoever has agreed to receive it. If they have not agreed, please do not send it to them. This includes all those who will watch in the future. Transmission! Turn on 24-7. Transmission! Join as one. Transmission! Oh. Thank you, Divine Down Source. Thank you, Master Shah. <clears throat> so you have just received what's called a Tao Golden Light Ball of Tao Light. Tao Light heals. It transforms. Tao Light can prevent sickness and illness. It can transform all aspects of life, including relationship, including finances, just about anything that you bring to the table, Tao Light can transform. 
if uh, the last couple of days we spoke about some of the negativities that tend to flow through our life. Tao light can transform those. Remember, these negativities are very low frequency. They're near the bottom rung of frequencies. Tao light's way up here. Think of it like hot water being poured into the cold water. You keep adding enough hot water, this cold water will change temperature and pretty soon it will rise up to the Tao light temperature. So that's why this works. You keep adding high enough frequency, the low frequency has no choice but to shift. You simply have to be consistent with it. You can't expect something that's been with you for many, many years to just dissolve with one practice. So be, be responsible, be confident, and be, um, be respectful of the power that has just been transmitted to you. It will serve you well if you use it. <coughs> so Aloha Dvorka, Aloha Kathy. So now we're going to practice with Tao Light, and we're going to do it from a practice in Dr. Master Shah's book. Now this book that we're going to be using is called the Tao One. And this came out about four or five uh, years ago. <clears throat> He's now teaching Tao Three. But he has, not, um, he has not written the book as of yet. But he is teaching it. <clears throat> and so... This practice is to combine the kidneys and the water element. We spoke of these five elements earlier. The kidneys and the water element are related to the condition of fear. Fear is associated with not moving forward. Okay? <clears throat> Therefore, it's associated to confidence. Fear also brings us, um, many times, negativity. And so we're going to uh, use this Tao light ball now. Now, keep in mind that this Tao light ball and Tao liquid springs that you just received is not limited to this practice. You can use it anywhere, anytime, for anything, for yourself or for others. Okay? If you want to know more, read some of Master Shah's books. Okay. <clears throat> so there is, this is on page 415 of this book. Um, practice to heal the kidneys and the water element. The sacred and secret mantra for this practice is Jin Dan Zhuang Shun, pronounced Jin Dan Zhuang Shun. Zhuang means strength, Shen means kidneys. Jin Dan Zhuang Shun means Jin Dan strengthens the kidney function with healing and rejuvenation. We will also chant <coughs> Jin Dan Zhe Shui. Jin Dan Zhe Shui, which means Jin Dan strengthens the water element. So we're going to strengthen our kidneys and the water element. So body power, sit up straight. Thanks for sharing, Ali. I appreciate your sharing that uh, you felt it go right through your spine. Yeah, it's very, very... Um, if people have uh, uh, the ability to feel energies, they absolutely feel... Uh, what transpired yesterday when I offered this it's the same transmission but I offered it yesterday if everybody knew and one of the students in the room uh, older gentleman Patrick senior his third eye is open and he, he shared what he saw um, so it's a very special blessing everyone received <coughs> okay um, so sit up straight place one hand on your lower abdomen place the other hand on both of your kidneys if you can reach around with both hands place both hands on your kidneys your kidneys are about a few inches above your waistline. So when you put your hands back there, it's like putting your, your, um, your pinkies on your waistline and then your palms are above that. That's about where your kidneys are. Soul power. Repeat after me. Dear soul, mind, and body of my Tao light and Tao liquid springs golden light ball. I love you, I honor you, and I appreciate you. Can you please shine light on my kidneys? Help me release fear. Help me to boost and build confidence. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. <clears throat> Dear the soul of my water element, including the urinary bladder, the ears, the bones, the condition of fear and fright, and more. I love you. You have the power to transform yourself and to heal completely. Do a great job. Thank you. And so we're going to chant, Tao Light 
heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. <coughs> so let us chant. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Eyes closed. Tao light heals my water element. Visualize golden light surrounding your kidneys right behind your hands where your hands are. If you cannot put both hands on your back, put one hand back there, one on the lower abdomen. If you cannot do it, put both hands on your lower abdomen. Place your mind in your kidneys. Again, Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. And now we're going to chant Tao <coughs> uh, light boosts my self confidence. Tao 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 light boosts my self confidence. Let me go back. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. Tao light heals my kidneys. Tao light heals my water element. <clears throat> now, put one palm below your right rib cage over your spleen. Place the other palm on your lower abdomen. Now we're going to bring balance to the condition of worry, which also keeps us from having confidence. This is related to the earth element. So keep with your eyes closed, visualize golden light below your palm. It should be your right palm under your right rib cage, your left palm over your lower abdomen with your eyes closed, visualizing the golden light. Tao light heals my spleen. Tao light heals my worry. Tao light heals my spleen. Tao light releases my worry. Tao light heals my spleen. Tao light releases my worry. Tao light heals my spleen. Tao light releases my worry. Tao light heals my spleen. Tao light releases my worry. Tao light heals my spleen. Tao light releases my worry. 
Thou light heals my spleen. Thou light releases my worry. Thou light heals my spleen. Thou light releases my worry. And now we're going to chant. Thou light heals my earth element. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my earth element. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my earth element. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my earth element. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my earth element. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my earth element. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my earth element. Thou light boosts my confidence. <coughs> Continue to chant silently. Thou light heals my earth element. Thou light boosts my self-confidence. I will offer a reading as to what is happening at this time. <clears throat> at this time, there is like swirls of light. They are starting from the outside and going towards the inside of everything underneath your palm. These swirls are golden. They have some other colors in them as well. And as they permeate the cells, the energy and the matter, they are grabbing any of the imbalances associated with earth level blockages. This swirling motion, once completed, radiates to the rest of the body. And it is creating confidence throughout your body. The confidence is rewriting messages at the cellular levels of the brain. There are quite a few blockages in the message center that we will address in a few minutes, but it is starting to loosen their grip. It is almost like little um, combination locks going in there and unlocking some of these long-held mindsets, attitudes, beliefs that keep us in places of worry and fear, that keep us from having confidence. And as this swirling light continues, there is darkness that is leaving. It is literally just releasing and floating away. The Tao light itself is of such high frequency the darkness simply can't stay. It is quite uncomfortable with the amount of light that is present at this time. And so it leaves, and we offer our deepest gratitude for its messages and our deepest gratitude for the opportunity to receive the Tao light. And so now place the hand that was over your rib cage, place it on the center of your chest, over your heart center. <clears throat> and we're going to chant, Tao light heals my fire element. Tao light releases anxiety. Tao light heals my fire element. Tao light releases anxiety. Tao light heals my fire element. Tao light releases anxiety. Tao light heals my fire element. Tao light releases anxiety. Tao light heals my fire element. Tao light releases anxiety. Tao light heals my fire element. Tao light releases anxiety. Tao light heals my fire element. Tao light releases anxiety. Tao light heals my fire element. Tao light releases anxiety. 
Dao light heals my fire element. Dao light re releases anxiety. And now let us chant Dao light heals my heart. Dao light boosts my confidence. Dao light heals my heart. Dao light boosts my confidence. Dao light heals my heart. And Thou light boosts my confidence. See the golden light around your entire heart center. Thou light boosts heals my heart. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my heart. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my heart. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my heart. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my heart. Thou light boosts my confidence. Thou light heals my heart. Thou light boosts my confidence. Continue to chant silently. At this time, the Tao light is completely permeating every corner, crevice, and crack that has ever received imbalance in the entirety of your heart center. This light is shining itself in all of those dark corners. And the little roots that bring about anxiety and depression are being gently and lovingly released. It's as if water was being applied to a weed in the ground and so much water is applied that the weed has no choice but to be uprooted. The same is occurring with the light at this time for these kinds of roots in our message center. Boosting our self-confidence is a natural side effect of the release of these old patterns, these old karmic roots. The entire message center is bright, golden light at this time. You are each very, very blessed. So please say with me, how, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you. How is a Mandarin Chinese word? That means complete, perfect, excellent. We say thank you three times. The first thank you is to the Divine Creator. The second thank you is to all of the holy beings that are serving, because you may not see it, but heaven, heaven's animals, many, many guides, angels, and saints, temples in heaven have come to us and they are clearing blockages this entire time because you received a Tao light ball. That means you've received a layer from the heavenly realms that has extraordinary high power and with it comes heaven's animals, heaven's saints, temples, and healing transmissions. These carry those frequencies. When you honor and respect this Tao light ball and Tao liquid springs uh, transmission, this this light ball, Jin Dan, that you have received, when you honor it, when you speak to it, and you ask it to serve you, it will do miracles. Just connect to it. Ask it to serve you. Many of you are feeling much better now. This is not accidental. It's not because I'm sitting here chanting. It's because we're working with Tao power. We're working with source power. We're working with the highest uh, frequencies, and it's transforming the, the low earth um, energies that we've been we've been playing with so what's the key to keeping this after this hour chant more very simple <clears throat> find the source soul song of love peace and harmony so please share your experiences how did this uh, how did this practice um, impact you have you noticed any differences in your emotions have you noticed uh, your body being warm or heated up or energy moving throughout your body did you notice anything at all Please share. Um, I wanted to, to let you know that during this week, um, actually I, I am extending this for the entire month, um, but this week is dedicated to releasing uh, all things negative. 
And so I put together a package and this package is a combination of three different, four different actually types of healing uh, abilities that I have received. These healing abilities I've received over the course of time from Dr. and Master Shah and as his uh, power has increased so has the ability for me to offer you service. Uh, he puts extraordinary power in calligraphies. He is able to download very high level gendons like he received a Tao light gendon. <clears throat> I received uh, about a week and a half ago what's called the um, Tao Love Diamond Heart Gendon and the power of it uh, is, is leaps and bounds uh, higher than the power of what you just received with this light ball and it's, it's the highest love and so I received that so these things can offer blessings now um, one of our universal servants is going to post an image that I created which lists what I'm talking to you about now. So if you have a series of conditions in your life where you're emotionally distraught, you just can't seem to get your head above water no matter how hard you're working at things, it just everything seems to be beating you up, okay? Then this is the package that you want to take a look at. Um, it includes three different choices which can be honored for individually and they're what's called divine services in essence what a divine service is it's it's what you received today with a with a golden light bulb gendon but it's that times a thousand uh, and it happens all at once and it includes the opportunity to release the Shen Qi Jing blockages that have been holding you down for many 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 lifetimes these Shen Qi Jing blockages when they occur they um, they create karma in our life they, and that karma comes to us in the form of negative self-talk it comes to us in the form of lack of self-worth it comes to us in the form of lack of self-confidence it comes to us in the form of looking for uh, solutions outside of us and not trusting ourselves it comes in the form of um, always wanting other people's perspectives because we don't trust so all these different things inhibit us from fully opening our heart and being honoring of ourself making better choices for ourselves. this package uh, individually and collectively can assist you to literally save yourself at least 30 and most likely hundreds of lifetimes of repeating this painful painful process because until lessons are learned until the karma is cleared these these experiences um, have the possibility of staying with us you can do these practices and if you're consistent every day you can absolutely self clear uh, I've seen it happen many times the people who are diligent they can self clear their blockages but some of them can be pretty deeply rooted for those that have deep depression deep anxiety <clears throat> heavy-duty conditions you want to look at a package of this nature so one is called the healing and transmission system and Kristen has put the link uh, in there in the chat so you can see the images that pops up with that link um, and you can follow along as I speak about it the healing and transmission system includes a divine order for removal of the Shen Qi Jing blockages Shen Qi Jing blockages are negative mindsets attitudes beliefs Shen Qi Jing blockages are the energy and the matter that sticks inside of our cells it sticks in there and holds on to that negativity that's the karma blockages those are removed brand new energy and matter and brand new messages come in a light wall protection is ordered and any of the darkness can't come back this kind of healing system is extremely this kind of healing and transmission system is extremely effective for things like um, uh, emotions emotional blockages <clears throat> any form of pain or suffering cancers all of that these work very very well to assist people to transform uh, blockages of almost any type and the normal honor fee on that is 300 that's an ongoing normal and uh, you can receive that one of the one of the folks that I'm chatting with she'll receive it for condition of migraine that's a condition the second uh, type of healing that can be purchased individually or collectively in the package is called a divine crown chakra blessing now I offered this yesterday uh, as a demonstration for somebody for the condition of negative self-talk and I mentioned at the beginning of the show how that person woke up today and they said I'm gonna move forward on my educational path they had been in a series of vacillation not really doing anything and a great deal of chatter in their head a lot of negativity and today they woke up feeling much better and much more aligned 
how long would it have taken them? How long were they vacillating before that blessing? There was, I can tell you, there was 225,000 Shen Qi and Jing karmic blockages removed with that one two minute blessing. That's called divine power. And I'm very blessed. I bow my head to Master Shah because I have no ability to do this without the authority that he's passed on to me. So uh, I've used these kinds of powers and helped people to reverse 10, 20, 30 years of pain and suffering. And it's, and it's literally reduced, if not gone, in, in a few minutes, a few hours, or a few days, maybe a few weeks at best. Um, that's the kind of power that can occur at this time on earth. We're very, very blessed to have Master Shah and the worldwide representatives and this ability to serve you. So the crown chakra blessing, as you can see, has uh, three choices. It's not all three, and you can get them individually if you'd like, but it's one or the other. So one is for releasing negative self-talk and developing positivity. That's one choice. Another is for releasing self-love blockages and honoring and loving yourself. And then a, a third choice is releasing the fear of abandonment and the need for approval, which is going to be the subject for tomorrow. You can get one if you'd like for boosting self-confidence and releasing all those things that keep you from having confidence. I'm happy to add that. Uh, crown chakra blessings are very flexible. Now the third package or the third aspect that can be uh, honored for individually or collectively in this package is called the Diamond Heart Love Jin Don Blessing with tracing of the open heart and soul calligraphy. And this is extraordinary. I tell you, everybody should get this. If they, if, they, if they don't have a whole lot, but they want to do something for themselves, this is what you should get. The Diamond Love Heart Jin Don Blessing with the Don Tracing for opening the heart and soul calligraphy are two completely separate things. And the Diamond Love Heart Jin Don, um, in this last retreat, it was the first time it was released. And Master Shah, there were 350 people in the room. Only 33 were approved. I was blessed to be one of the ones approved. Approved and honoring for it is different. I, I had to, to honor for it. You know, I had to pay money to receive this healing ability. But I was jumping out of my chair because I knew I needed it. And so I immediately honored for it. Uh, Twelve people honored for it out of the 33 that were approved. And so I can offer blessings that are extraordinary for clearing blockages at the level of the heart center, which basically includes everything. Um, pretty much any blockage in your life can be impacted with this. Along with that, I have a very special calligraphy. He's only made one of these calligraphies, and he's literally made about 3,000. Each have extraordinary power, but he's only made one called Opening the Heart and Soul. And I have this calligraphy that I can do what's called dawn tracing, which is a special form of um, invoking and asking the, the saints, the saints' animals, the temple souls, the treasures, all the blessings that are transmitted through this medium known as a Tao calligraphy to you. So you get both of those with this blessing. So there are two packages. If, if you look at the image that should be on your message line, you'll see package one is all three of these together. Individually, the transmission system is 300, the crown chakra blessing is 100, and the last uh, subject I talked about with the Jin Don tracing and the, and the diamond heart love is 75. So collectively, they would be 475. If you want the package, it's all together 300. So um, it's dramatically reduced, dramatically, dramatically reduced. I tell you, anybody that has the ability to honor for that, <laughs> you, 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 t you will not be the same person the next day. You will have a significant shift in your life. Uh, you will have to do some practices still, but the way I visually explain it to people is if you feel like you're pushing a big rock up a mountain and that mountain has some grease on it, so it seems like no matter how hard you push, you're not really getting where you want to go to, that's karma. That's Shen Shi Jing blockages. You receive blessings of that nature for that package one, which covers all three. We've, we clear all the oil off, we chisel that big boulder down to a little pebble, and the mountain's still the same, but it's a whole lot easier to push that pebble up a hill uh, with no grease on it. That's the difference when you remove the Shen Qi Jing blockages. You just, the light at the end of the tunnel opens up, and possibilities happen. 
The second package is package uh, B, uh, package two, which includes the other two, which is the crown chakra blessing and the diamond heart love and Jindan tracing package. So those collectively are 175. You get a small discount of $25 and you can get both of them for a total of 150. You can receive each one of them separate. Um, if you're unable to see what I'm speaking out loud, then please let me know. Again, if you look through the chat, there should be a timeline there. I can't see what you see, but uh, if you look under Kristen Rojas' post, I've asked her to put an image up for me, and you should be able to see that. Okay, And if you click on it, it'll open up to a much larger image, much easier to see. You can contact me uh, by Facebook Messenger. Um, in other words, in your Facebook, if you look for a thing that says Message, then just type in my name and you can send me a message. My phone number is 808-469-6199. I don't hide that. It's all over my website. You can, of course, go to my website and contact me through the contact page. So my website and my email are basically the same. It's asoulhealer.com is the website or asoulhealer at yahoo.com is the email. So feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I'm happy to serve you. I do offer one final invitation, which is if you have somebody that you want to do a nice Christmas blessing for, uh, one of the great ways to do that is to honor the, the $50 for one of the uh, divine special blessings that I offer. Um, it's, it's a nominal cost, but it could help them tremendously and you can do a gift certificate if you're not already a part of my email list make sure you go to my website and sign up for my email uh, my newsletter because I mentioned these I'm going to be releasing these um, gift certificates through the newsletter probably today or tomorrow uh, but call me if you have any questions I will see you tomorrow where we're going to be focusing on um, needing approval from others okay we're going to be focusing on why we look outside of ourselves for self-worth and self-value. So I'll see you then. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye, everybody.